even I'm surprised. I'm like, I cannot believe who was that girl that like walked onto the set, that little blonde girl, and you know, they gave, they let me do it. I know she wants to see me. She's just scared. I started directing with the idea that I don't have to be a cowboy to make a Western. I don't have to be an African-American to make a movie for african -American. Like the idea that you have to be the thing to make the thing mm -hmm. or to be the, the actor to be the act that part. I feel like that's part of who we are as artists. I feel like if you have a way to tell the story that's unique and interesting and whatever, everybody should have that choice because you give that same script to three different people, they're all they're gonna make three different movies, you know? And so if one person is always making that same thing, you just keep hearing that same voice. You go to film schools and there's a lot of women and it's it's hard. It's a lot of a lot of it has to do with confidence, I think, and a lot of it has to do with when people think of a director in their minds, they used to always think of like a dude in khakis and a baseball hat. That's our job as a culture and society is to change the way we get those images so that the people that hire them don't only think of that person. <sighs> Nobody ever sat me down and said, this is why you're taken off this movie. And I feel like that's like, it was the hard, it would literally was like, I were crushing you. It was so hard. Honestly, a normal girl would be crushed by that and you'd never work again. And that's what Hollywood can do to you. They yeah. it can totally spit you off and reject you. And as a girl to take those no's, to, to then take back take it back and say, nobody could tell me I'm not a filmmaker. And so the first thing that I did is I picked up a camera and I went out and I made a little film called No Alternative Girls. It was like a five, 10 minute long film. I went out and made like a little Riot Girl movie with the idea that F Hollywood, you know, nobody's gonna say you're a director, you're not a director and take a film away from me. I'm a director the moment I have a camera in my hand and nobody can tell me otherwise. I got back my confidence with that literally a week later I got a call and I was directing Billy Madison. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. Oh, that was the grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. Let's go. As a director, you have to have that kind of confidence where you walk in and you're like, okay, this is, this is my vision and right. you need a 200 people to follow you with it. If I come to an artist with respect, like I don't do a video or work with an actor or whatever without coming to them with like respect for who they are. I've watched their work. I know I, I have, I'm like a fan and I'm trying to bring the best performance out of that person. From Lou Reed yelling at me backstage saying, I'm never gonna lip sync whatever music video, what, yelling at me. <laughs> like, oh my God, Lou Reed's yelling at me. <laughs> Turning out, making the most incredible thing together with him or same with Cher, when it works, it's all also the most rewarding thing ever. Mbop was the best. I listened to that song and I was like, oh my God, I would just lose it if I was a 12 year old girl. My job gets so easy sometimes because all you have to do is just don't mess it up. Those kids were the cutest things ever and be the fan of what you're making and truly be that fan. Like I have a true love for that, you know, and, I, and that's how I kind of judge things is like I have a true love for things. I have friends. I definitely have friends. Objectively, I can say that I have all the friends. I've never seen more women directors. I've never seen like more diverse directors. It's amazing what's happening right now with television and film. And I really feel like you see that in the greater scope of things, for sure. People are getting opportunities to direct and telling their stories. And I think like we're definitely getting an incredible forward trend. Be open to that diversity and seeing, seeing new voices. We just got to keep going in that direction. And you know, I don't know, keep yeah. girls in that, in that situation. Mm -hmm.